I've been lying to all of you at home, but the truth is up until today, I didn't even know it. So for my vlog this week, I decided to take a personality test and I found the most in-depth personality test online. This test gets very personal and at the end, it'll tell you who you truly are. And the answers I got at the end were kind of shocking. What is going on TFG squad? My name is Brandon and welcome to 16 personalities. So this is a website absolutely free so all of you could try it yourselves but it's a true personality test. So for those of you that don't know who the Frustrated Gamer is, I might not even know who the Frustrated Gamer is. Today we finally find out. So it says it's fast and easy, it takes less than 12 minutes. I assume with me blabbing my big mouth, it'll take a little bit longer. It says, please be yourself. Answer honestly, even if you don't like the answers. And finally, it says, complete it all. Try not to leave any neutral answers. Let's jump right in, guys. Question one, you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Um, no, not really. I like being with my friends, you know, like four or five people at a time watching a football game. So I'm going to go, I'm not going to go fully disagree. I'm going to go with mostly disagree. Okay, next question. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Uh, uh yes. If there could be an answer past agree that I would hit yes guys I'm always thinking about different ideas for the channel different ideas just for my personal life so that is definitely a yes if you guys want to learn more about me or if you want to see more of these type of things don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new all right next question your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary uh, no, I disagree. Me and my girlfriend, Sam, are very regimented. When we go on a trip, we want to have the whole thing planned out ahead of time. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go mostly disagree. I'm a little bit spontaneous, but not a whole lot. Uh, you often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it's taken place. Yes, I think we all do that, right? Maybe not, but I know me. Whenever I have an awkward conversation, I will go home afterwards and run through it in my head 150 times. Maybe that makes me crazy. I don't know. People can rarely upset you. Uh, no, I get upset. I don't think I get upset that easily. I'm just gonna go slightly disagree. All right, let's move on to the next page. 10%? We're only 10% of the way done? Oh, no. <laughs> This is gonna get real uncomfortable, isn't it? You often rely on other people to be the ones to start the conversation and keep it going. Um, I think overall I'm fairly outgoing. I'm definitely not the most outgoing in the room, but I don't think I'm the most quiet. I'll go, I'll go here. I think that's a pretty accurate representation of my conversation starting skills. I don't know. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it's your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, but I also procrastinate a lot. I'm gonna, I know they said no neutral answers, but I'm gonna go neutral that one. I'm sorry, personality test, but I don't really know how to answer that one. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. No, I definitely always worry about that stuff. I'm gonna go disagree. It would be challenging for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. No, I like weekends by myself. I mean, I love spending time with my girlfriend and stuff like that, but when she's away for the weekend, I usually have a great time. I'll watch TV, I'll work on videos. I can have a great time by myself. Uh, actually, I'm pretty much by myself every single day. I quit my accounting job and now I'm a full-time YouTuber. I sit in my office by myself all day. I love it. You are very affectionate with people you care about. I would say strong yes. I'm very affectionate with my girlfriend Sam, with my parents, my friends. I, I would say a strong agree there. All right, let's move on. 20%. All right, so we got 80% more questions to learn about the frustrated gamer. Also, the name of this, if you guys want to take this quiz yourselves and learn who you are, it's 16personalities.com. So look it up. You can take this quiz yourselves. And if you want to let me know in the comments what your results were, definitely let me know. You have a careful and methodical approach to life. I, I don't even really understand this question. I'll say slightly yes. I'll say slightly yes. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. Yeah. No, I, I definitely am. Not that, I mean, knock on wood, I don't have any major regrets in my life, 
But I still go back to things that I did in college, in high school. I mean, heck, I still think of my high school tennis matches that I lost and I wish that I won. So I would say, in a, actually, you know what? I'm going to go strong agree. Yeah, I still think of tennis matches that were more than 10 years ago sometimes. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. Again, if there is a category past agree, like, can I click somewhere over here? Because that's 100% true. Me and Sam will look through movies for like an hour and then just be like, well, that, that just wasted an hour. Let's go to sleep. So yeah, strong agree there. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Overall, I would say yes. I think sometimes I get nervous, but I think that's normal. I would say overall, yes. I would actually thank sports to that. I've been under a lot of stressful situations in sports, and I think that's helped me stay calm. All right, here we go. 30% done. When in a group of people who you don't know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversation. Uh, no, definitely not. I mean, if it's a group of people that I know, I can, I can talk to them. I can be loud and boisterous. But if it's a group of people that I don't know, I, I, I get uncomfortable. Like when I first met my girlfriend's family, you know, I was a little bit quiet, a little bit more reserved. Now, obviously my big mouth comes out. But yeah, when it's a new group of people, I always do get a little bit nervous. My palms get a little bit sweaty. No, that's very normal. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. I think everybody's all right. Like who has a dream about walking downstairs and grabbing a cup of water, then going upstairs, taking a quick poop and going back to sleep? That's no, I, my dreams are like me flying or me meeting like LeBron James. I actually had a, a dream a couple nights ago where I met LeBron James in a movie theater and we were best friends. That's a true story, 100% fact. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, of course, I think everybody's dreams are fantastic right? Again, maybe not. Let me know in the comments if you guys have dreams about uh, getting water and pooping, like I said. <laughs> in your opinion, is it sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life? Wow, I mean, this is like the business side of me. Like when I was an accountant, oh my goodness, some of the people that stepped on each other's toes. I would say overall, no. I think overall, I'm a pretty, um, I'm a pretty fair person. But you know, obviously, there's certain situations where you do try to get ahead. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. See, I'm the type of guy that when I get focused, I am laser focused. I think it's like the ADD side of me. But I can also go hours by getting distracted. So, oh man. I'm going to say slightly disagree because I get sidetracked very often. Actually, I'm going to go more than slightly. Yeah, I'm going to go there. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. Nah, I slightly disagree. If it's something that I think I'm pretty good at, I'm usually pretty confident. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourselves to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think everybody's kind of like that. Even people that are outgoing. Like, I... I think of myself overall as being outgoing. I don't think the average person, if they're at a party with people they don't know and people they do know, who's going to go to the group of people they don't know? No, get out of here. When it comes to making life choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Definitely not. Like when I was thinking of quitting my job as an accountant to become a full-time YouTuber, it was not my heart. I was thinking about everything in my head with analytics and money and, and longevity. So I'm definitely more of an analytical thinker when it comes to that kind of stuff. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. Ah, uh, wow, that one's tough. Well, I guess my job, I can't really see, touch, or experience. Right? Well, I guess I could experience it. I don't even know. I'm going to go neutral. That, that question's too smart for my small brain to handle. Somebody tell John Bon Jovi that we are halfway done. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. No, I definitely, I'm, I'm more of a forgiving person. I mean, every once in a while, I get upset and want to get revenge on someone. But overall, I'm a very forgiving person. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning or message of a song or movie. No, if there's something past disagree, then I would click it. Guys, I'm the least picky movie person ever. I, I would be the worst movie critic ever because I would say everything's good. When I watch a movie or I listen to a song, I just want to be entertained. Are you not entertained? Like, I will love songs for years. Some of my favorite songs, I don't even know the words. I'm just listening for the song. So <laughs> maybe that makes me a shallow-minded person. But no, no, I, I don't care about the meaning. I just want to enjoy the movie. If there is, If there are explosions or there's a, a, a crazy twist, I will love the movie every single time. You always know exactly what you want. No. Okay. <laughs> Here's an example. 
I want to buy a drone, right? I want to buy a drone for some of my videos so I could get some really cool shots, especially my vlogs. I've been trying to figure out what drone to buy forever. And I, and I don't even know if I'm going to buy a drone because it's expensive. So no, definitely I don't know what I want all the time. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. Disagree again. I feel like I've gotten like two or three questions that were exactly like that. You tend to focus on present realities rather than the future possibilities. No, definitely not. I'm more of like a future oriented guy. Like, like I said, hey, when I quit my job as an accountant, I was making more money as an accountant, and then I decided, hey, you know what, I found something I love, hopefully in the future this channel will grow, which thanks to you guys it did, and I took the leap of faith, I took the chance, so I'm, I think normally I'm always kind of looking towards the future, sometimes to a detriment, like I think now I'm at a point where I love my life, I'm a professional YouTuber, I'm living with my girlfriend that I love, I'm in a house that I love, I'm near my parents and my friends and my family, and I still can't get out of the future, I'm always thinking, alright, I gotta get to a million subscribers, or hey, we gotta get to this house, or, or this or that, so sometimes I need to live in the moment a little bit more. You often drift away into daydreaming, you know what, I don't even have to read the rest of the sentence, Agree. Let's move on. I, I constantly daydream. Like I said, that's why I get sidetracked and I procrastinate all the time because I'm always daydreaming. You look after yourself first and others come second. Well, that's kind of mean. I mean, I do look after myself. I don't want to go completely disagree, but I mean like Sam and my family and friends, they, they definitely matter to me. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go mostly disagree there. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. No, definitely not. I'm a schedule oriented guy. Like if you look at my office, I have a giant calendar of everything I'm going to do for the month. And I usually try to stick with it or else I get bothered. So definitely a no there. Your mood can change very quickly. No, overall, no. Every once in a while, I'll get really upset or really happy, but I think overall, I'm a pretty stable guy. 90% of the way done, guys. All right, we have a few more questions. Your emotions control you more than you control them. No, I'm going to disagree. After a long and exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. Again, it all depends on who's there. If it's a small gathering with my friends, yes. If it's a giant party with a bunch of people I don't know, no. I just want to go home and relax for the weekend. So I'm going to go by party. I think they mean big party. So I'm going to go slightly disagree, but not fully. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I think everybody kind of has those thoughts, though. You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Usually, usually, sometimes I'll do first, think second, which is a little bit dangerous, so don't do that. Uh, you still honor the commitments you have made, even if you have a change of heart, definitely. No, 99% of the time, I will keep my word. If I tell someone I will be there, I will be there, even if later I'm like, oh, I really wish I didn't say yes. Uh, you rarely feel insecure. Nah, I, I mean, I think everybody feels insecure. I'll go mostly disagree. I'm not the most insecure person in the world. But I mean, you know, everybody gets insecure. All right, here we go. This is the moment we all find out who the frustrated gamer is. Like I said, I don't even know who I am. I I assume I'm going to be fairly outgoing. You guys know how loud I am and how boisterous I am. Let's go. I don't even know what the results are. Okay, here we go. 88% introverted? I've been lying to you guys this whole time. I always thought I was an extrovert. You know, that's actually really funny because Markiplier once said in his videos that he's an introvert and he's loud and he screams just as much as me. 88% too. It wasn't even close. Energy. Intuitive or observant? Intuitive or observant? That's actually pretty interesting. So nature is like almost 50-50 whether I think about things or just kind of go off my feelings. I actually would have thought I was more of the thinking. Tactics. Judging. Prospecting. I guess I'm more of on the judging side. And identity. Assertive or turbulent? Oh, more turbulent? Well, guys, that was awesome. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the frustrated gamer. Like I said, I apologize for lying to you guys this whole time, but I didn't even know I was lying. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see all of you in the next video.